when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. She just left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. Sounds like you totally crushed on Rachel. You would have too. Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Where did you get that bracelet? Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? And we're obviously connected since without me you would have never discovered your power, right? Dude, there's $5,000 here. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. And hello there, troops. We're back at it with another episode of Life is Strange Remastered. Now it's actually kind of been a, a minute since we played or had an episode of Life is Strange on the channel. So I have took some notes on what happened in the last one <laughs> because I have completely forgotten. <laughs> and if you're not new to the channel, or if you're new to the channel, then you might not know that my note taking abilities are garbage. So let's see how this goes. So in the last episode, troops, wait, did I say you're watching Ace of Space Gaming with your host for the day and the weekend, myself, Thumbs? Because I don't think I did. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. But you are, right now. <laughs> anyway, last week, Chloe and Max and started the episode in Chloe's bedroom after they, you know, ran away from breaking into the school and everything. But <laughs> Max had to get a change of clothes, you know, because apparently she smelled like clothing. And Chloe just happened to have some of Rachel's clothes. And they are apparently also a perfect fit for Max. Quinky dink. I think not. <laughs> and um, Max was gone on, you know, she has no confidence and she was just talking about that and, and Chloe was like, you know what? And I was, I was going to say it's out of the blue, but honestly, it's been building up to that whole moment, like this entire game, when Chloe dared Max to kiss her. And obviously I had to decide or make Max choose to kiss her because, you know, we haven't been playing this game for nothing. It's Max and Chloe, <laughs> even though I'm a total, like, you know... Chloe and Rachel fan, but we'll get into that later, right? <laughs> anyway, they kissed. It was, uh, she, Chloe was a lot more surprised than you'd think she'd be, but you know, Max has got some guts when she needs them. But <laughs> anyway, after that, Max left, went to go talk to Joyce, who doesn't seem to be that hopeful that Rachel just ran away. I think her and Max are on the same page that perhaps something not brilliant has happened to her. And Again, we'll get onto that mare in the, the game because boy, does this game blow wide open at some point. Honestly, it's just, it's mad, but it's great. <laughs> anyway, Chloe comes down. They're having breakfast. She distracts Joyce so that Max can go into the basement to get evidence on David and perhaps Chloe and, no, Rachel and Kate, which she does find. She found that he has been basically been stalking or was stalking Rachel and Kate and Max. There was a report of something to do with Chloe, uh, Rachel, <laughs> I keep getting names mixed up. <laughs> Rachel and Frank being together, suspicions of them actually being together. And then he was had photos of Kate and all that and he even has Max's timetable. So, you know, he's a bit of a creep. So we went back <laughs> to go and catch Chloe up and everything when David enters and just starts crapping on Max as soon as he sees her, which basically blows up in his face because Chloe decides that's the point in time where she wants to tell him, or tell the room, I guess, about David having photos of Chloe and uh, Rachel and Kate and 
Oh no, he t she told him about the spy cameras and the house, and then that's when I decided you got a choice to either side with David or Chloe. I mean, I guess you could side with him to let him explain his side of things, but I obviously <laughs> I sided with Chloe because, you know, you can't kiss a woman and then back up or step douche, you know? <laughs> it's just not right. <laughs> anyway. When Max stepped in, she's the one that say, that mentioned the photos of Rachel and Kate and how he's been spying on them. And then Joyce is basically like, oh, why do you have photos of them? And then she kicks David out because David basically pulls the woman curled and he's like, oh, women always stick together because he's that kind of douchebag. He is a step douche. <laughs> Which means a completely different thing in America than it does over here. Anyway, <laughs> he's kicked to New Chloe and Max are gone to the diner, and that's when Max tells Chloe about the photos of Rachel and Frank. And she obviously doesn't believe it because she doesn't want to believe that because no one does. <laughs> And then basically they're like, oh, let's break into Frank's RV to get some evidence and proof that it did or didn't happen. So that's where we're at. I hope I didn't leave anything important out. It sounded like I covered most of my bases there. <laughs> so we're breaking it, or we're trying to find a way to distract Frank, which I'm going to assume is going to involve some superpowers because, you know, we can rewind time. It's always good to have a time power, especially when you're dealing with Frank. And we're going to try and get some evidence. We're going to try and see what the truth is. Was Frank and Rachel a thing? Or was Frank just using them like Chloe said? I guess we'll have to go find out. So, join me on another episode of Life is Strange to go sleuthing. Let's go. <laughs> okay. We're ready to go back to the diner. I had to go talk to that woman over there first. Bump into this man. Thankfully, I didn't have to get the photos again. But no, we're ready to jump into the story. And try and distract Frank, which I'm quite sure is annoying. <laughs> but we can do it. Max has got the power. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Yeah. Okay, what does Warden want? We're gonna go off and then we can go back. I'm gonna say this is where we start. Okay, it's officially sold out. Blah! I managed to get us both tickets. Had to fight a dozen bullies off for him, though. Freaking nerds. Yeah, I doubt you fought off anyone, Warren. Although, you did take a beating off Nathan, so you probably could have. <laughs> okay, so I think. Hmm, there's, I'm quite sure there's a couple of people to talk to first. Yeah, Nathan's up there. Okay, so maybe I'll talk to Frank. I can always ruin time so that I didn't, you know? Let's see what we got here first. We can spell, we can spell. Okay, we got lots of options. <laughs> Laying down the law. Power move. I like it. <laughs> you show up after almost shooting me? Oh, yeah. You have serious balls, little girl. Yeah, we do. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. Oh. The fuck do you want? That's why he stared at her for a minute. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Yeah. Because she looks beautiful in them and Ooh. you look like ass. <laughs> Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Frank. Let's not. <laughs> you fucking creep me out. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucking creepy In other words, line. Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer. Or even Nathan. Yeah. And then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Can I just, like, point out? And he just admitted that Rachel was like sexy in those clothes and has what? And has what? Which means he's just like totally admitted that, right? And they are young children. Like, well, I think Chloe's 18? I don't know. It's pretty fucking creepy if you ask me. Anyway, let's talk to this man, see what he's got to say about Frank Bowers. I love that. <laughs> I kind of glanced past the fact that she invited both of them to his campervan and Max. You've got cajones, but ew. <laughs> there she is, Super Maxine. <laughs> That's your new nickname around the bay. Oh, wow. Sorry, but you did earn it. Thanks. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Oh. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. <laughs> Kate is who counts. I'm yeah. glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Thank you. Oh, there's lots of options. There's an a a next. Let's ask about Nathan, yeah. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. 
Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the mm. Prescotts represent. Yeah. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. <laughs> I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him. With the devil. That I can't seem to get out of. Yeah. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. So I better finish my breakfast first. Yeah. Okay, two seconds. We're gonna go back. We got lots to do here, troops. <laughs> okay. Maybe we'll talk to. No, we'll continue talking to him because I kind of want to ask him about Kate as well. There she is. Let's see. Yes, we can skip. Thanks. Now. Whoop. Um, nope. We can just ask him about Prescott deal off the bat. Wow. Okay. Let's go for it. We can always rewind. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott mm -hmm. family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't blame you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Mm -hmm. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Okay. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. We're gonna record, rewind that again so that we don't have that conversation. This never existed to you, my friend. You're welcome. Nathan, how are you doing? Eyes wipe. Nice camera. Rachel! Oh. Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh, he was a bit surprised. Oh, then. look, Max Amber. <laughs> Is that your punk rock girl outfit? That was classic watching you turn on your everyday hero Jefferson yesterday. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, <laughs> you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Ooh. No worries, because you're the one trying to fake it till you make it. <laughs> At least you were smart enough to keep your big mouth shut in the principal's office. Wow, he's got a lot to say. And he got so surprised at the whole Rachel thing. I guess Max dressing up like Rachel has apparently worked out in her favour because now we're kind of sussing out some suspects, right? Hmm, interesting. And he just threatens her as well, but you know, whatever. Oh, let's ask about Rachel and Frank. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. <laughs> Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Okay, maybe I shall. Maybe I shall. Once again! <laughs> this may happen a lot, just so you know. But very interesting. Who knew Dinos held so much information? Will he be as shocked once more? <laughs> Rachel! Uh, what I love that you can see the scars on his face, by the way. Okay, let's ask him about the cop's information then. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. <laughs> Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. Wow. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. <laughs> Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. What? Uh, forget I told you that. What? Seriously. Yeah. Now get off my crack, whore. <laughs> Keep your pie holes shut. <laughs> okay, I've never heard that line before. What the fuck, a blood ritual? What does that even mean? With Rachel? For Rachel? What? This just gets deeper and deeper. Boy, what are you talking about? <laughs> Rachel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're shocked. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, what's the fucking blood oath all about? Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? <laughs> blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. No. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yeah. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Oh. Dumbass. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Very interesting. I've never done this route of questioning, apparently. Or at least I don't remember it. <laughs> so she did pose. Interesting. That throws a spanner on the theory that I had. You know what? We'll just keep going. And I'll tell you about the theory at some point in life. You know? That's fine. Okay. Let's ask about Kate. I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? 
You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't <laughs> want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Yeah. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> now fuck off, Dyke. <laughs> Nathan Prescott. What a lad he is. One more for the books, shall we? He doesn't have a lot of manners. These Prescotts are fucking something else. Rachel! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Okay, let's ask about your daddy. Your sugar daddy will <laughs> always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Mm -hmm. Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Yeah. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Okay. That's, we got you. You were ruined in there again. We got a glimpse of how much of an asshole his dad is in Before the Storm when they were about to do the play. At least I think that was his dad. I'm sure it was. Right? Okay, that's basically it. I'm not gonna ask him if he's got drugs for some. Well, maybe I will. No, we're gonna talk about your dad. Your sugar daddy will always protect you. Okay, nothing new there. But no, we're gonna talk to this guy about Frank and Rachel. There she is. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad. Thank you. But what's this about them spending a lot of time together? Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell with Frank Bowers. <laughs> Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. Yeah. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabbit. <laughs> I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My oh. boy does love his dog. Pompadour. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. The you can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? He rescued Frank it. used to bet on dog okay. fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs. Yeah. Kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Thank you for the information on the dogs. I mean, that's like the one good thing he's done, right? <laughs> I guess he also stopped those guys from going after Rachel and Chloe. But that's a whole other thing. Anyway, I guess it's time to now try and get these keys off of Frank. How will I do? Probably poorly. Let's go. <laughs> Power move, Max. There we go. I forgot we, almost, we tried to shoot him as well. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. Thank but you. hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and... Oh yeah, I'm gonna skip this because I don't want to hear the sexy part again. <laughs> oh. All three of them are good because we can pay the debt now. I want to mm, ask him about the photo, let's be honest. <laughs> you know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? Mm -mm. She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Wow. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. <laughs> she was just a natural beauty, you know? Uh-huh. Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, Ooh. judge for yourself. <coughs> well, thanks for getting your keys up, buddy. Can I not actually look at the photo? No, okay. Well, sorry, thanks for getting your keys out. Thanks for making it easy. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. <laughs> you did not just do that. <laughs> Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Or what, punk? We got time on our hands, on our side. <laughs> Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Wait. Let's see what happens when we spill his dinner. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. <laughs> I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans! <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Frank. <sighs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, we're <laughs> rewinding. I just wanted to see what happened. I couldn't remember. <laughs> Are we up? Okay. I kind of want to rewind that as well. 
so that he doesn't have that full work. You know. And then he can't be like, where's my key? <laughs> Do you think there's anything else he would say? My work here is oh. done here, Aww. Frank. So I can't even talk to him about the dogs. But I love the excuses Max came up with. She's quite a hand at this whole investigating stuff, you know? Who would have thought it? <laughs> ah, Alyssa! We're probably going to need to save you again, right? Yep. No, wait, what does Victoria have to say? <laughs> oh, wow. I thought you might be ready for the Vortex Club. Oh, wow. But after the shit you've pulled with Jefferson, no fucking way. Oh, you're mad because we got Jefferson fired. Sorry. But she thought we were ready for the Vortex Club. I did not know that either. Wow. You're such an emo queen that you didn't want anybody going with him to San Francisco. Like some, was it? I don't remember. <laughs> you're even too much of a pussy. <laughs> Down in your cliche selfies in one dumb contest. It's all about Max. Even going to the roof was about showing sure off. Not about saving Kate. Well, at least Max done something. I'm going to make sure nobody at Blackwell is fooled by your... Who is Max act? Get ready. Oh, we got threats from Victoria and coming. You don't know nothing, Victoria. We'll be friends, don't you worry. Kidding, I don't think so. But we're gonna save a lesson. Or at least save her from getting scared. you Give me a minute! No! Alyssa, warn. Alyssa, watch out! No, Max is gonna get it. Quick thinking, Max. You're welcome. Have you got anything to say? How are you doing? Whew. <laughs> that was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You're welcome. You must be my angel. Oh, Don't am. thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. <laughs> you really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Oh, thanks, Alyssa. <laughs> True dad. This guy's like, Kate's my friend. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. Yeah. It's fucked up. But you're an amazing friend. You're welcome. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Good. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital Aww. when they allow visitors. Yeah. Let's hang later and talk some more. Look, I was making friends. See, Max can be social. <laughs> That's cute though. We should totally get people together to go to the hospital. We'll cheer Chloe, uh, Kate up a bit. And now it's time to go get Chloe. Break into the RV and. Is that checking? As a button. Hopefully, distract Pompadour without anything happening. I don't want anything bad to happen. You know, I love little Pompadour, even though he's probably evil right now. He was a cute puppy. <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> the amazing Spider Max. You're welcome. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. I'm getting a lot of information, by the way. <laughs> You'll need this, Max. I'm the one in. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> On your mark, get set. Throw! <laughs> We're throwing it in the parking lot. We're not going to throw it at the road because that's evil. Get the treat, treat boy! <laughs> You're welcome, Pompadour. I think we just made that dog our bitch. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> now we can snoop in peace. But let's not waste time. Yeah. Okay. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. But that's okay. By the way, if you throw it onto the road, he gets knocked down. And that's just disgusting. I could never do that. We all, we've already almost shot Frank. He doesn't need his dog to be killed. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. <laughs> You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. <laughs> At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Yes, exactly. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. <laughs> Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? <laughs> yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. Yeah. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. <laughs> Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. She didn't even reply. I know. Just daydreaming. Or stalling. Because you do want to know the truth, right? No one does. This place is a lot different compared to, like, when you're you in You scope it. the area while I hack his computer for info. Okay. 
when you're in it as Chloe and before the storm. Frank? I doubt Frank is trying out for the Arcadia Bay Brewers. Drugs? No prize here. But have you still got lots of steaks? Do you use feed Pompidou and normal food now? <laughs> Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. <laughs> Wait, can, is it just... No, we can't talk to him. Crappy Wi-Fi out here. Must take him days to download the porn. Yeah. <laughs> Chloe. Oh, a vent. Okay. We're just gonna do a little snooping. Ooh, Frank Stash. Ooh. Chloe! I think you wanna find this. <laughs> That's almost Aww. cute to see Frank posing with his dog. <laughs> he loves Pompidou. See, that's why I couldn't do it. <laughs> like, heart Pompidou. Whoa, what oh. the hell is he doing? Oh, Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. Uh -huh. He's on prescription pills. Are these for Frank, or is he selling them? Or both? <laughs> Probs both. Okay, two vents to open or look at. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Okay, now we're looking for a tool. Surely he's gonna have like a knife in here of some sort, right? No? Okay, gimme you got any knives? Oh yeah, here's a knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. <laughs> okay, that's Vin. My blade will open any portal. Voila. Very discreet, Frank. But I don't think so. Detective Max is on the case. Oh man. Rachel oh. and Frank's dog. That is not good. Nathan tries to claim that they're opposed, but that looks a bit candid to me. <laughs> I don't know if I should be touched oh. or disturbed. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna read this. Love you always. Don't like the look of that. <laughs> Frankie B yuck. <laughs> I'm joking. Hope you read this first thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and took it out on you. And poor Pompidou. Oh. There's a lot of weird shit going on in my life and sometimes I feel like I'm never going to get out of Arcadia B. Thank God for you. What about Chloe? <laughs> You're one of the best things I have here. Oh, and I smell when I think of us together. Re this makes me mad, this letter. <laughs> Let's just drive out of here forever. Love you always, Rachel Amber. Well, that adds a lot to the pot, doesn't it? That contradicts what Nathan told us, I guess. I don't know. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. She doesn't look like the Rachel from Before the Storm. I know there's a good few years in between those Rachels, I guess, but I guess a lot can happen in a couple of years. Apparently. <laughs> Rachel really did hang out with Frank. Yeah, we don't like it. <laughs> I'm learning more about Rachel wow. <laughs> than I want to know. Yeah, we don't like that either. <laughs> hmm. Trouble in paradise. Oh, another letter. Frank, that was not cool what you did. Oh, and don't blame the drugs. Wow. You actually scared me and I thought you'd never chill out. I've never seen you act that way and the next time will be the last. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm a Leo and we don't look back. I care about you, us, so maybe we need to break our, routi break our routine. Rachel. Wow. That is a lot to unpack. So, Frank got mad, I assume. I don't know what that's all about. And I don't know if we ever find out what happened there. It's probably for the better. <laughs> I'm gonna assume if, you know... If it was Frank, he wouldn't be here because they would have run away together. So I think maybe we can rule Frank out as a suspect. A suspect, to be honest. I don't know. What do you think? Do you think this implicates Frank more? Maybe he got on the drugs and done something. That's true. Maybe he's not out of the suspect list <laughs> quite yet. Okay, never mind. Never mind. I just convinced myself. Let's go. <laughs> and we have a knife still. Woohoo! I cannot believe he would wear a collar and a furry mask. What? I don't even want to know. Okay, Chloe, we got some info for you. 
He's got a police radar. Frank must have a reason to keep a police radar nearby. Yeah. Okay, he f he feeds Pompidou normal dog food now. <laughs> Chloe isn't scared. She's loving this. I actually think she's really nervous to find out the truth. <laughs> Let's go break our heart. <laughs> That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Oh. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Oh. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Oh. Why does everybody in my life let me down? Chloe. My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. Ah. My mother gloms on a step fucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! This was never gonna end well, Max. <laughs> Good luck with that, Frank. <laughs> Your dog is fine. <laughs> You're welcome. It could have ended a lot worse for you, Frank. Don't worry. And we are on to you, by the way. Don't know how I feel about you. I'm sorry, Chloe. Chloe, not you fault. can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. Yeah. It's so not fair. Well. I gotta blame somebody. Otherwise, it's all my fault. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna tell it to grow up. I'm gonna say it's no one's fault because it really isn't. Although Max was the catalyst. No, I'm kidding on. Her dad was. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah, 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 as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh. Yes, Kate Marsh almost killed herself. Such sad, okay? <laughs> that doesn't make me feel any better about my fucked up life. Get it? Yeah. So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? I said that. I'm sorry. Why would you say David? She's never called him her dad. You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Aww. And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It yeah. was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Yeah, it kinda has. I'm really sorry, Chloe. This really takes a dive, man. Like, Chloe's been through so much. And I always feel so bad for her. <laughs> But the farewell episode was absolutely heartbreaking. But, you know, whatever. <laughs> um, I kind of want to be like, you're still here. It's a bit of a cliche thing to say, but you know. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're yeah. right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. Yeah. Chloe's having none of it. Such a shame, though. There's a guy in the trousers. He's everywhere. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Get in the cold shoulder, man. Not even a goodbye. You could have thanked her at least, you know. I broke some ice. Ice. Sound like I said ass. No, this is when it gets nuts. All right. <laughs> Just wait for it. Oh my God. What is happening now? Something crazy. Let me tell you. And also, it's gonna get even more emotional. If you think it's emotional now, honestly, wait to. Mr. 
Oh, wait to the next part. <laughs> That's right. That's happening. Time travel. Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. <laughs> newfangled. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. <laughs> this is a keeper. Not until I see it first. You know the rules, Dad. Max, tell him. <laughs> Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> I just... Uh, yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. It's so sad seeing volume again. Well, I might just allow this one into the family album. Oh, you're the boss. What is this? But not the cook. William can't is here. Can't, Daddy. Yes, and we can't. Chloe is just a kid. And serve us slackers. Am I Who that far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them. Crates. I'm 18 years I'm old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat. She's How? 18. We. I thought she was young. I volunteer to break the eggs. Wow. Do you remember how many yeah, eggs? Chloe. Mom said it depends. That's true. So how many eggs? Don't, Don't you dare anything? question. I love yourself. William right. like, like he was like in my own really family. Appears. I won't I'm let him die today. I won't. Oh. We're stopping I'll let her know that. Apparently. I know I've seen those pictures before. Oh. oh. Nice game though. Gonna get crazy. What a mess we made. I remember those cool drawings <gasps> I did with Chloe. Uh oh. They have. What is that? Hello. What are the controllers for? Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the two whales. Oh, look at what? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Aww. Now I'll have an excuse to get a mocha. Be there shortly. Love you. I need to wait for this. I have to stop William from taking his car today. Ladies, I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She doth have many bags of delicious grub for us to feast upon. You are upon. ridiculous. <laughs> You'll be grateful for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. <laughs> you mean your college fund? Keys, please. So that I know where the keys are. But also, what he's playing. I can't remember what console that is, but I love it. The snares? Aha! Okay, there's you your You can't hide from me forever. Now lock up. Now we're gonna rewind all of this and steal your keys, William. Chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? Score! Saving I your life. Your mom is away. Making sure. I'll let her know that. You don't go pick up. Could I hide them in there? Making sure you don't go pick up Joyce. We could put them in the cookies. What if I just keep a hoard of them though? Put them down here. Oh, wait, what did I just do? Hello. Hey, honey. Just making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. Oh. We're all going to wait. Is there not actually? Oh wait, two seconds. Work at the two whales. What did doing that do though? We're all going to work at the two. Two seconds, because there's a full opportunity to be had here, and I totally forgot. I'm sure. Right. You remember yeah. how many eggs? This thing. Mom said it depends. Now I get and to see the last picture. Episode. Strike a, a pose. Episode. Make me a star. <laughs> Just make me look young. You could have hugged at least. <laughs> There you go. Now I'm gonna go That's do that true. little graffiti thing. So, how many eggs? Don't you dare question the chef. Right, like you're the real cook here? I don't know what this is gonna I do. When your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Oh, I can throw the keys at here, right? Let's just let things play out. Yeah. <laughs> just throw them outside. Oh, because it has a tracker on I know I had those keys right here. I know it. Oh, well. Forgot all about you, little buddy. Release the keys. <laughs> of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. <laughs> you can take the bus, right? 
The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. <laughs> it comes every 15 minutes and there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joyce and groceries. As if he doesn't know what a bus is. And it'll save the environment. You sold me already. I'm off to yonder bus stop. Uh, Joyce will love this. Oh, she will. <laughs> Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? <laughs> Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. No, it's crazy. The past has been changed. What will the present hold for us now? If you thought Chloe went through some stuff in that timeline, just wait till you see this timeline. Goodbye, David. Is she like, actually hanging out with Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? Yeah. All my friends in LA told me that she's hanging out with Max. Nathan. <sighs> Never <sighs> Maxine. I, don't know. Yeah. I know. Sorry, Mad yeah. Max. <laughs> You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girls' potty and smoke them peace pipe? <laughs> I think Max is hot. And she's she's acting stoner. like so weird. You cool, Max? Yeah. Nobody bro. listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. <laughs> Courtney, what? you don't want anybody in the club. Like, whatever, bitch. Good, Courtney. Warren. You oh, don't wow. Stella? Stella? Not Brooke? I don't remember this being a thing. I know you're just... Oh, wow, they're not friends at all. Oh, no. Th this is totally fucked up. Why did what else she, have I changed? Why did she end up being one of the people, though? Because she didn't Chloe. have Chloe in her life, right? No, because she did have Chloe in her life. What? <laughs> and look who's the bus driver. Oh! He doesn't even do security anymore. Isn't it crazy already how things have changed? Max is in the Vortex Club. And she smokes, apparently, now. And the toilets. <laughs> A little interval. <laughs> really sure of the change. Imagine the Prescotts didn't run Arcadia Bay anymore because William was alive somehow. I don't know how that would happen, but... I genuinely thought Warren would have ended up with Brooke. You know, the the one who had the drone in there. That was Brooke, right? Oh, is that a deed wheel? Like her! Is she not Brooke? I thought her and Warren would have ended up together if Max wasn't in the bowl. Wow. That's definitely not a good sign. Different types of wheels, too. Oh, yes, yeah, the end of the episode, isn't it? We don't get to see what happened. Or, I guess we do, but it's like the end of the scene. I had to run the whole way. Whoopsies. Oh, they finished painting the house, though. This looks really nice when it's painted all blue. <laughs> Just wait for this. Max Caulfield. 
taking I don't know. a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? I don't know why this isn't. Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. Sorry. No. Don't know why this messed up. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. This isn't a Hold good on. time for this to mess up. <laughs> Chloe! You have a visitor! Well, we're still gonna get to see it anyway. It's just not synced up with the whole uh, sound. Yes! That is right. Things went in a whole different direction for Chloe. Wow. It looks so much different, obviously, because it's, you know, better graphics in the original. So, it turns out that maybe her life wasn't. Or it wouldn't. It didn't turn out how she thought it would have. With her dad being alive. And if you think. on As I said, if you think the game's been emotional, like before now, it's only gonna get more emotional in the next episode. Let me tell you that once again. <laughs> It's an emotional roller coaster of a game, just saying. <laughs> we stole the money. A lot of people did. Okay, I thought a lot of people would have left that. And uh, <laughs> most people kissed Chloe because, of course. I wonder what happens if you don't. And I wonder if the people that didn't k kiss Chloe are the same people that sided with David. Because those numbers kind of add up a little. <laughs> and we didn't get Pompidou hurt because why would we? Lisa is dead. Who the heck is Lisa? A plant? The rabbit. Did we kill the rabbit? Because we get Kay's rabbit, right? I don't think so. I fucking hope not. <laughs> we didn't help Warren in his exam. Yeah, because I didn't want to lead him on. <laughs> He's with Stella now. <laughs> You're not on the Vortex Club party list? What do you mean? I went through a whole thing just to get th on that list. What the fuck do you mean? We erased <laughs> the message on the phone, yes we did, we helped Alyssa, we warned the homeless woman, because of course we did. We took a photo in the past, and we left a mark on the fireplace apparently. Okay. We're going back to the menu, because we're gonna st start the fourth chapter of the game in the next episode of the playthrough. It's a good cliffhanger to leave it on. How are things gonna be now that Chloe's in a wheelchair, and William's alive? And Max is part of the Vortex Club as well. Like, honestly, what a change in this game. And it's why the game is so good. Honestly, it's mad. As I said, be prepared for emotions. Or at least be prepared for me to have lots of emotions. <laughs> and come and let me know if you have them too. <laughs> but trips, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you're glad to be back with Life is Strange, because I know that I'm our... Although, now that we're at this part of the game, I'm kind of not glad. <laughs> but trips, I hope you're looking forward to the next episode to see what happens in the fourth chapter of the game, how things are about to blow open, and to see the full potential of Maxie's powers, honestly, and how she can actually change the history of time, or the course of time. So come and find out what will happen between Chloe and Max, now that things are a bit different. I hope you're looking forward to it, troops. So until then, wherever you are, day or night, I hope you're having a good one. And until the next episode of Life is Strange, Thumbs and my gal, my gals, Chloe and Max. I can't remember if I said, I hope you're staying safe, but you know. <laughs> but anyway, we know. Ah,